a nonlinear load is a, is a harmonic producing load, and specifically the concern is third harmonics. And the concern with third harmonics, office equipment, computer power supplies specifically, switch mode power supplies, they produce third harmonic current, 180 hertz current. They also produce other harmonics, fifth harmonic and seventh harmonic and many others. But the one that's most troubling is the third harmonic because specifically the third harmonic, it's 180 hertz current. And that third harmonic current, if we look up here, here's the problem that we have. Let's say that we have a three-phase power system. So we have phase A, phase B, and phase C. And the phase currents of A, B, and C are all displaced by 120 degrees. If you were to go along in time, this is time here, if you went along in time anywhere along here and add the magnitude of A, of B, and of C, you get zero for the 60 hertz currents. Always been that way, probably always will be that way. That's not the problem. The problem's third harmonics. That if you have third harmonics, they repeat every 120 degrees. And the third harmonic of phase A is in phase with the third harmonic of phase B. And that's in phase with the third harmonic of phase C. And so the problem is the third harmonics, not only do they not cancel like the 60 hertz currents do, they add if they happen to be on a common neutral. And so it is possible, and I've measured this numerous times through all my, my power quality measurements that I've done over the years, it's possible to have more current in the neutral conductor than you do in the phase conductor. So now we have a different problem. Not only is the neutral carrying current in addition to the three phases carrying current, but it can even carry more current than the phase conductors. That's going to give us a bit of a problem. As we'll see later on, sometimes you actually have to oversize the neutral to be able to carry this additional current from the third harmonics.